Okay, so really quickly, um, oh, I forgot this is a new video. So I'm going to go through the SNES games. Another thing happened. This was the worst day to do this, but having to re-record showing the SNES games. But luckily, luckily, I only showed the games I don't really care much for at first. I kind of went into detail about some of the games, but due to time, I'm just showing them. I have another copy of Super Punch-Up, but that one is broken. Toys, they stop the movie. It's a baseball game. Football game. Toy Story, yes, I have both Super Nintendo and Genesis. Another baseball game. Judge Dredd, which is a movie. Baseball. Battleship. Baseball. Bass. N next one. Alright, here are the other games I was showing off. Got your baseball. Jurassic Park. This game I forgot that I have. Art of Fighting. Super Off-Road. Road. Spider-Man. Batman Forever. Bust a move, Shaq Fu, Super Scope 6, uh, Super Battle Tank 2, Joan Mac, Mario Paint, Lion King, Pack Attack, Lethal Weapon, Cliffhanger. Okay, I think that's all the ones I showed. Now on to the games that actually... Oh man, that's not even true, there's still other games. Okay, more games. Um, you got a football game. Did I just say, oh my god, it's basketball? Sorry about that. A horribly conditioned... What is this game even? Prince of Persia. Uh, you got a football game. You got... Oh wait, now we're at the good games. Okay, move aside games. Now we're getting to the good games. Um, Super Ghouls and Ghost. Very, very frustrating game. But also a really good one. Turtles in Time, this is actually one of the first games I ever played. I think, like, the first five. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars. A uh, fun fact, this is probably our oldest physical copy that we own of any game. As early as 1996. Uh, Kirby's Avalanche, which is kind of like Puyo Puyo, but with Kirby. Uh, Sim City. Donkey Kong Country 3, one of the first games I ever played. I'm going to say that a lot, like with this one, Donkey Kong Country, one of the first games I ever played. It's because Super Nintendo was the first console I have memories of playing at age 3 to 4. So, uh, yeah. Plock. I have nothing else to say. Dr. Mario and Tetris. I actually recently cleaned up some of my oldest cartridges. This game actually looked really disgusting, but it looks better. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. This is a dad game. Definitely a game I used to watch playing my dad. I mean, what was I saying? I used to watch my dad play this game a lot, but I did beat it a couple years ago. Uh, Super Castlevania 4. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's so dirty. Why is it so dirty? Um, what else? You got Mortal Kombat 2. This one's my favorite of the three. Mortal Kombat 3, got your pilot wings, which was a launch title, I actually have all the launch titles in Super Nintendo, uh, Dino City, if I recall correctly, this game is actually pretty good, the box art really says otherwise, I'm going to have to reorganize these games, um, Super Mario RPG, which I'm still mad about this because I bought this almost a decade ago, and it was it had a sticker on it. He should have just kept the sticker on it. Uh, this is a one of my more recent SNES games I bought. Uh, Phalanx. It's the man with the banjo. It's it's actually a really good space shooter, but for some reason, whoever came up with the box art, jeez. Contra 3. Um, this one's a great game. Illusion of Gaia. This game is fantastic. Uh, you got Star Fox. F-Zero. Another launch title. Oh, this game was at the very bottom. It was just crushed. 
Uh, Final Fantasy 4. I know it says 2, but it's actually 4. Okay, let's... There are some other games. Link to the Past. This is one of the first games I recall ever playing, and also my first Zelda game. This, okay, I'll save that for later. Uh, Super Mario Kart. To me, the worst Mario Kart. The controls are very horrible. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Final Fight. Which, I don't recommend playing that because usually they're kind of annoying with the unlimited continues. Yoshi's Island. Mega Man X. Sadly, this isn't my original copy that I played when I was three. Sadly, this is a copy I got, like, several years ago because there was one time that I actually sold some of my video games and one of which, which was Mega Man X because at the time, I was like, well, I already have the Mega Man X collection, so, you know, I can sell it. At the very least, I, of all the games I sold, I sold a lot. At the very least, I did get Mega Man 64 and Four Swords on the Game Boy Advance out of it, so it's not like I bought horrible games. Creedius 3, another launch title for the Super Nintendo. It's actually one of my favorite space shooters, but still very flawed. Um, Act Razor. This game is actually pretty cool. And then, jeez, this game was crushed. Uh, Secret of Mana. I want to play this game. I just haven't really played it. Because I want to play the first one on Game Boy, but it's been a little complicated on how to do that. Um, I'll save that game for last. And, uh, wait, what else? Oh, crap, those are other crappy games. But, yeah, this is, um, I think this is the most expensive Super Nintendo game I ever bought. Final Fantasy VI. I paid $64 for this. Yeah. And then there are sadly more crappy games. Uh, this game is a game I actually watch my dad play all the time. King Griffey Jr. plays Major League Baseball. Soccer. Because I kind of like baseball. But. Porky Pig. I think I remember playing that. It was kind of annoying. Another copy of King Griffey Jr. Dang it. Now I have to update my video games. Um, hockey. Because I already counted all the games. Oh wait, there are some other good ones. Uh, Breath the Fire, a game that I started early this year. I was about almost halfway done with it, and then I stopped because I kept getting stuck a lot, and uh, I don't know. Where, where is it? Put it right there. Uh, Super Mario World. This is of course one of the first games I ever played. R-Type. Very, very frustrating game. <laughs> I remember I spent two hours just trying to beat the third stage, and I got to the boss once, and I just couldn't beat him. Uh, Aladdin for Super Nintendo, and dang it, no wonder the cartridges look dirty. This is the clean cartridge of Mortal Kombat. Dang it, now I have to minus it by two. Ugh. Empire Strikes Back. Considered one of the hardest Super Nintendo games. Clay Fighter. This is a game I remember playing as a kid, but the last time I played it was when I was 17. I think I remember I actually rage quit this game. I got so mad that my throat was sore from yelling at this game. And then I saved this one specifically to my memory and to what I've always said since I was like 6 and 5 and whatever. The first game I ever played really the best nor the worst uh killer instinct to my memory this is the first game i ever have any memories of playing it's not that this is the first game to what my dad said technically the earliest games he recalls me experiencing was orcarina of time and majora's mask which that's much much better but in terms of my memory this is the first game i have memories of and in terms of presentation, I really like Killer Instinct, but again, I'm not the biggest fan of fighting games, but it's actually a really decent fighting game. And that is all the Super Nintendo games. 
So I'm gonna quickly move over to the next batch of games. Oh wait, actually there are two more uh, noteworthy games. Uh, a brand new sealed Super Tennis. Never been opened. It's not even that valuable. It's like 60 bucks. However, this it's not brand new, but I have the box with it. Not the manual, but the game is inside. Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Um, I don't even know how my parents got this for me when I was 13. But, yeah. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now I'll move on to the next games. Okay, next up is the Game Boy Advance games. I don't think I have enough time to show off the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, so I'll do that in the next video. But... I have a decent amount of GBA games. I have many stories to tell for some of these games, but... Well, mainly consoles and specific games like this one, but... The problem is, it's just... This is just mainly to show off these games' existence, and... If you see a particular game, and it's like, oh, I've never heard of that game before... Well, then... That's the whole point of this video. Not to mention, it's also an archive for myself, just to look back on what games I've owned. This game is very depressing. I cannot say how many hours I put into this game when I was a kid. GBA was definitely a console that I missed out on a lot of good GBA games when I was a kid, and it wasn't until I was a teenager. Pretty much what you're seeing is like most of my games that I had before I got a DS. I didn't get a DS until so much later, and these were the games that I mostly played I didn't really play any of the Zeldas, I didn't really play any of the other games, not even Sonic, just, yeah. But, but now let's get to the good games. Um, Minish Cap. Yeah, it's kind of hard to focus. That's a great Zelda game, I highly recommend it. Fire Emblem and the Sacred Stones, one of my favorite Fire Emblem games. Mario Kart Super Circuit, an actual, really Pretty good Mario Kart game. Circle of the Moon. I conquered this last year. It's actually good. Uh, Sonic Advance 3. Definitely the best Sonic Advance of the three. Where are the other Sonic Advance games? There's Sonic Advance 2, which... It could be a good game, but... It's just very unfair. And yes, I have all the Super Mario Advance games. Super Mario Advance 4. Super Mario Bros. 3. That title. Um... Metro Zero Mission, my one of my favorite Metro games. Mega Man Battle Network 3. Um, this game is a little interesting. Mother 3, not the Japanese cartridge, but a reproduction cartridge. And I was fully aware of that because I knew it only came out in Japan. It's an amazing game. The day that game comes out, jeez. Mega Man in Base. Just like with this and Battle Network 2 and 3, I actually got these games when I was like 8. So I definitely experienced some games that weren't uh, movie license, show license. Kirby's in the Amazing Mirror. And uh, Golden Sun, Lost Age, a great RPG, one of my favorite RPGs. As well as a complete inbox with everything in it, Golden Sun. Um, out of this and Lost Age, I like this one a little bit less, but not by much. Like, literally, if I had to rank my favorite RPGs, if it was, like, top 10, Golden Sun would be number 10, Lost Age would be number 9. Four Swords, for GBA, this is this and Mega Man 64 were the two games that I bought when I sold a lot of my games. Not a lot, but, you know, some games I hate that I sold. Super Mario Advance... Mega Man Zero 3. I was more raised with Mega Man Zero 2, but I did get the Zero Collection after Zero 2. Advance Wars, I still need to play that series. Pokemon Fire Red. I actually had Leaf Green and Pokemon Sapphire as a kid, but I just lost them somehow. Um, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. This one, uh, I actually got this at Play and Trade as well as a lot of other games like Mega Man 64 and other games you'll see. Mega Man Battle Network 2, which still shows the price. My mom got this for $7. It's way more expensive than that now. Uh, 
I put so many hours into this and little did I know people hate that. Alright, so there were some games that are interesting to note, and not this one. There's Metro Fusion, a really good Metro game. So these three games, now that I'm more familiar with what is a fake cartridge or not, these cartridges, one of them I know for a fact, the other two I question. Um, Sonic Advance 1. Usually, and I, there's no way I can be able to show it, but there's supposed to be like these numbers on the cartridge, and there's no way... It's like, I barely saw it for Fusion and Fire Red to prove that they're authentic, but I just cannot find a number on this. This is also the case with this one. It's like, I just almost question if this is a reproduction cartridge. This one is 100% a reproduction cartridge, and I'm so mad about it because I spent $40. It's completely fine and everything, but it, the fact that it's not authentic just kind of devalues it by a huge amount. Which really sucks. Alright, that is all of the... GBA games that I have. And for the next video, I'm going to show off... I guess Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and... I don't know what else. But we'll see then.